Welcome to Learn and Draw. I am Anup Desai, working as lecturer. In this video, we learn to draw a 3D model using Solid Edge software. For more videos on 3D modeling, support me by subscribing to my channel. Now let's start drawing. The start page of the solid edge look like this. For the 3D modeling, we have to select here among these options solid part. So we get the page like this. So let's see the question. This is the model 3. So this is the front view, bottom is the top view and this is the side view of the machine component. So here first let's draw the front view. So as you can see in the front view the length of the object is 100 mm. The height is 90 mm and at the right side the height is 20 mm. So it looks like a L shape. So let's first draw the front view. For that select here protrusion then front plane. So here as you can see let's first draw the length of 100 mm then height of 80 mm and then complete this L shape. Select the line option. So from the center point so let's draw a line of 100 mm then height of 20 mm then this length of 80 mm then height of 70 mm so let's select fit for clear viewing then this length of 20 mm then join this to the beginning so now we we have now got the front view of the object next we have to do the protrusion so let's see here from the side view protrusion size will be equal to 70 mm as given in the side view so here press return then from the options select here symmetric extent so that the protrusion will take space at equal distances from the center as we know from the side view the distance is 70 type 70 and press enter then press finish so now our front view of the machine component is ready next let's see the uh, top view so as you can see at the bottom in the top view there is a cutout of 25 mm length and 20 mm of width so first and also 20 mm of height and it is at a distance of 55 mm from the left side of our front view. So let's first uh, draw this cutout from the top view. So for that here among the options select here cutout then select this plane next as you can see from the left side the cutout is at a distance of 55 mm so from here let's draw a line of 55 mm and then press enter so from here we have to draw a cutout of height 20 mm and the length is of 25 mm so height will be 20 mm then length will be 25 mm then complete this rectangle now we don't want this line so let's delete this line next let's see what is the size of our cutout so from the top view we can see the size of the cutout is 20 mm so press return 
and now it is asking the size of the cutout so give it as 20 and press enter so now it is asking the direction give this direction and then press finish now this completes the cutout in the top view next is let's do the cutout from the side view so you can see here from the side view there is a cutout of u shape okay so it is at a distance of 15 mm from the left side and right side of our machine component and also it has the length of 40 mm and then the depth so it has the depth of 25 mm and also an arc of 25 mm so total the cutout is of 50 mm okay so now let's draw this for that select the cutout then select this plane so from here so let's from the left side let's draw a line of length equal to 15 mm then then at the bottom the distance is 25 next 40 next to the top next to join this as 15 so we have to also join this line at the top like this now we have to draw an arc here at the bottom for that select the tangent arc and connect it to the both the lines now let's delete the unwanted lines next press on return now from these options we have to select here cut out through all and now it is asking the direction give this direction and then press finish now this completes the three dimensional view of the machine component so let's save this file for that press ctrl i so this is the isometric view so let's save this in isometric view type here model and press on save next let's create the two dimensional view of this machine component for that select file create drawing ok so here next front view next so we have we want the front view top view side view and this isometric view of the machine component press finish so we get this figure so select these change the scale to 0 0.5 then right click on sheet setup change this to a4 sheet since we are taking the printout in the a4 sheet unclick the show background save defaults click on ok so here let's rearrange these so after rearranging this is the front view top view and side view of the machine component so here let's name the dimensions for that select the smart dimensions and drag these to obtain the dimensions next let's name these for that select the text then type here front view top view side view 
isometric view now let's update this isometric view for that select this isometric view select on this shaded part next right click right click on this and click on update view so now this completes the three dimensional view of the machine component and converting it to two dimensions thank you for watching the video for more videos on 3d modeling subscribe to my channel learn and draw